Hello, uh, now I'm going to tie another variation of uh, hair's ear or squirrel's nymph, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to start with my black thread, UTC 70 denier. Next step is going to be, I'm going to add some ribbing material. first add it on the side of your hook so lay your thread flat over the ribbing now when you're near the end add your tailing material in this case it's going to be coque de lion I want, I want to put it a bit longer than usual and more rich. I want to I want it to be seen in this fly because it's full of hair sticking out. It's easy for our tailing material to get lost. Like it gets blended in uh, in the fur into the hairs. So cut the excess off and add your favorite mixture of hairs. In this case it's pearl with some UV dubbing. And I'm not going to you to tie this fly all the way to the bead. I want to leave some room for some materials that I'm going to add a little bit later. So add this dubbing a bit thicker uh, go make make a taper in this dubbing middle. So it's going to be easier for you later to build up this, not later, but right now, to build up the taper of your fly. Sometimes if you want you can overlap materials. This is it. This part is going to be, going to be thorax and link case and legs and stuff. So just make body first. Tight wraps of the wire to make it easier for us to make the thorax part. It's going to make it easier for us to add the flesh material for the cover. but it's not important because the material for thorax is going to be the same as for the body so it's not that the proportions are going to be lost somewhere so this fly will have several trigger points one of the trigger points is the flesh material and the other is going So, right now I'm going to take a CDC feather and I'm going to remove these white parts and use as many of these lines as you want. I mean, if you use too much your fly will sink more slowly, so make a nice clump of it, put it to the side. Pinch it with your nail. One, two. You don't want to put more than this. And then protect it with your finger. Snip off. You don't have to do it too close. And turn your eyes. Take another clump of CDC. And of course. Two. Not good. 
bucket. This is it. Now you may want to add just a small turn over here in front of it, like this, and then catch it, catch the flesh material. Of it and lock it. Now with your whip finish, you don't want to build up too much of this black here, with your whip finish, go over the foil, make it go through the whip finish like this so it's locked. Now I want to add two whip finishes for security and the third one is going to cover my thread. dubbing right now, just want to do like this, put as little as possible just to cover your thread, because the thinner the rope around your thread, the stronger the knot. Now, one, do as many wraps as you want, cover it, and this is it, it's your finished fly. Uh, well, 100% but it's finished. So the second trigger point is CDC. Leave the tag here, it's going to be your wing case, like too long. So, this is your fly. You can choose to cut these if they are too long. I prefer to, to cut it with my nails, just pinch it out, instead of cutting it in, a, in the same size, same length. So this is finished fly, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you like this fly because it's really really good fish catcher. Uh, please if you did like, uh, subscribe, like, rate, comment, do whatever you like. See you next time when I tie something else.